All right, so we have our problem here. We want to set it up initially. So doing that, we have the weight of the bucket, which is um, weight of the bucket, which is 10 kilograms. We have the length of the distance uh, we're going here, so 12 meters. Uh, weight of the rope, which is equal to 0 0.8 kilograms per meter. And then we have um, at any point x uh, of the rope, the mass of the rope is going to be equal to um, 0 0.8 times 12 minus x is equal to, uh, and then simplified down, is 9.6 minus 0 0.8x kilograms. OK, um, continuing on here. So since the water is draining, um, at a 12 meter level um, and total weight of the water is 36 kilograms uh, so it's going to be 36 um, divided by 12 which is 3 kilograms per meter so um, that results in a 3 times 12 minus x which is equal to 36 minus 3x kilograms all right so setting up our total mass, we get our first equation, 9.6 minus 0.8x plus 36 minus 3x, and then plus the weight of our bucket, um, which is 10 kilograms. OK, um, and then simplifying this all down, we get 55.6 minus 3.8x kilograms. All right. So, and then our force, um, we got that we can't forget 9.8 uh, kilograms uh, meters per second per second times 55.6 minus 3.8 x kilograms. Okay. All right, uh, breaking this down. So, finally, we get here, work's going to be equal to um, limit of uh, sigma 9.8. 55.6 minus 3.8 xi delta x from 0 to 12, 9.8, um, 55.6 minus 3.8 x dx. All right, so 9.8, 0 to 12, 55.6 minus 3.8 make sure I'm not getting ahead of myself here. 3.8x dx. All right, and then integrating this, we get 9.8 times 55.6x minus 1.9x squared from 0 to 12. And then we get 9.8 times 66, 667.2 minus 273.6. Uh, and finally, simplifying this down, it ends up being um, roughly 3,857 joules. All right, and that's it. Yeah.